can't believe I'm already 30 weeks pregnant. Goodness gracious. Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my 30 week pregnancy update and it is just surreal that I'm already 30 weeks <laughs> pregnant and I only have two weeks to go. So I'm already in my third trimester. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I'm in my third trimester and the baby is like three pounds now and she's moving like she is crazy like all the time. Like she's kicking. I feel her in my hips. I feel her in my ribs. I feel her everywhere. And I still am pretty high. I'm not, I haven't dropped, which I'll show you my belly shot at the end. So I'm still high up. Of course, I'm only 30 weeks. So, you know, she's still just moving a lot. You can see her moving through like my clothing. It's creepy and it's fun, but it's it's also kind of weird. I don't know. I love it though. Uh, so I had my midwife's appointment. I did my last one month midwife's appointment um, last week. So now I'm going every two weeks, which is kind of crazy. I'm like, why do we have to go so often? But we go every two weeks now um, and I go next week. So then I'll be 31 weeks. No, I'll be 32 weeks when I go again. So yeah, it is crazy that I'm about to be going every two weeks. I'm just like, where am I going to find the time and the energy to go to the hospital every two weeks? So yeah, it went great. She's measuring um, right on track. Uh, even though I have been gaining too much weight, they said, I, they said I need to slow down my weight gain. I've gained 30 pounds. So Basically, they were saying that, um, you know, you're only supposed to gain between 25, 35 pounds and the birthing center that I want to have her in, in the hospital, uh, it's like a suite. It's not like the hospital bed. It's like you go upstairs if you want to have like a regular birth, I guess you'll call it. And downstairs in the birthing center, it's, um, I guess it's like a big suite with the jacuzzi tubs and the showers and all like the birthing balls, the stools, like I guess if you want to have like a natural labor process. So that's why I really wanted to, you know, give birth to her because obviously I'm trying to go natural. But she said I wouldn't be able to give birth in the birthing center if I over, if like if I'm gaining too much weight because then it'll be a risk. And yeah, of course they'll want to monitor baby and make sure everything's staying on track. So I've been trying to slow down what I'm eating and like trying to eat um you know healthy like drinking smoothies drinking my water drinking tea um salads but it's hard i'm craving everything and i want everything i see and i'm just trying my best and hopefully by you know kind of watching what i eat and also incorporating small exercises which i've only done twice so i haven't really been doing my exercises like i should i haven't exercised this whole pregnancy y'all like I feel like that's a sin <laughs> because okay look I was on the I was on the elliptical I was on the treadmill like I went and worked out with Caleb I was walking now if like we park in the back of a parking lot and have to walk up I'm like winded so yeah I'm just gonna try to incorporate more and more exercise as much as I can because I'm really sedentary the whole day I stay inside mostly the whole day the only thing I do is chase Caleb around which isn't like much exercise it's just like squatting or something squatting down picking stuff up all the time which isn't like gonna help me lose any weight but long story short i'm gonna try to incorporate exercises into my everyday routine so i won't gain too much of not trying to lose but not trying to gain any more really i think i can can gain like five pounds yeah 35 pounds so i can gain like five more pounds and then i'm like gonna be at that limit and Oh, that's gonna suck if I can't birth her in the birthing center. So that's Caleb in the back. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, what else I've been doing for the pregnancy so far? Um, emotionally, I have been feeling so drained and like extra tired. Um, I haven't really wanted to clean up anything. I've I've kind of cleaned up a little bit, but not like I'm not trying to like scrub the whole house down head to toe. But I have been nesting a lot, like buying a lot of stuff for the baby. Which a baby haul is coming soon. Her closet is like super full. <laughs> but we still have room for more stuff. We've only been buying like clothes. Not really like um, decorations yet. So a nursery tour will have to come at the end. But yeah we've been buying a lot of her clothing. Which is so cute. And I can't wait to dress her up. So stay tuned for the baby haul whenever that's going to be soon should be. Um, But yeah I've also still been having like forgetfulness a lot. Like mommy brain. I don't know, I just be tripping sometimes. Like the other day I was making pancakes and 
I almost like you know the powder that you make the pancakes mix with and I was mixing it up and I poured it in a pan and then I was about to pour the dry mix on top like I just was I don't know sometimes I get out of it and yeah I've been struggling with that and I have been a little bit stressed about like school because I haven't been doing great in school because I haven't been going I'm just so tired and I just don't want to get up in the morning anymore so but that's the life update that's not like really this pregnancy thing but yeah um, but same symptoms I've been having I'm still always hot I'm reading off the paper um, my back is still killing me and it's just like I don't know it's not like killing me bad but I know when she's delivered it'll feel better it's like just a pressure on it kind of and I feel her in my hips so pressures on my hips um, and I can't get up like quick I have to always roll to my side and even when I'm on a couch, it's like weird to get up. Even when I'm on the hospital table, like when I'm getting checked, <laughs> I have to roll. It's like super weird to me. I'm just like, oh, I can't even get up. <laughs> but yeah, um, and I still have my heartburn. So but I've been taking my time. So it's not like really a big deal. But you know, if I eat too late, if I eat spicy, if I eat tomato sauce, all that good stuff, that would give you heartburn on a regular. I haven't been winded. I feel like I'm winded in this video probably because I'm talking fast, but I haven't been winded lately like Can't catch my breath a lot. I just feel over Exerted like my energy is just gone, but that's basically all of my symptoms everything that's been going on with the baby um, Me and Sammy have been preparing <laughs> By reviewing our Bradley classes that we took last time with Caleb. Um, I've been drinking red raspberry leaf tea and doing squats, Taylor sitting, just like a whole thing. If y'all would like me to do like a Bradley class 101 kind of thing, I'm not a specialist. I haven't like got a like Bradley license, I guess you'll call it. But I did have a natural birth with the process and I would say it works. And I'm hoping that it goes the same this time without me have to actually pay for the classes because I still have all my material that I had. And we still obviously remember it was only three years ago. So yeah, if y'all want me to do like a quick, um, just a one video kind of combined thing on everything they teach you in the Bradley classes and you can do like a lot of research on it, uh, or you can just research it on your own. I think it's like Bradley.com or something. I have the book right here, like this book. So it's like BradleyBert.com and it's called The Bradley Method by, his name is Bradley, the man that wrote the book. Um, and they also have like books he wrote. So yeah i love that method that's the method we're gonna be trying to use to have a natural birth so yeah we're just preparing for everything and we're super excited and that's all for my 30 week update and now i'm going to show you all my belly shot so this is the belly huge to me <laughs> very 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 huge to me but i'm measuring on test so Alright guys, that's all for my 30 week pregnancy update. I'm going to update you again in two weeks. I'll probably do every, no I can't do every month because then she'll be here like before you know it. But I'll try to update like at, you know, 32 weeks, 34, 36 since. I don't know when she's coming. It could be in like <laughs> two months or less or more. I don't know. So yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more baby stuff. And the baby will be here soon. I will say her name. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't wait to share like her name and her clothes and everything she's gonna have and we're super excited so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to see more bye guys